Hey, welcome to Bargain Bikes. Well, some of these projects that we uh, pick up from Goodwill here, uh, some of these bikes that we get for twelve ninety nine or nine ninety nine or whatever. Um, every once in a while, they'll have a flat tire, and I'm here today to show you how to remove that tire. Um, not too bad of a job. You just need a little bit of tools and patience. Um, the chain here. You know, it comes back. I always try to set it to gear number one and pull it back. The derailleur here, see how it has the slack? You can pull that up here and then just kind of feed it through. And um, and it'll give you more and more um, chain to be able to, you know, kind of pinch back here. Um, the main goal is to get it off the sprocket. Um, here's a quarter-inch ratchet, quarter-inch socket, with one of those junk bits that you get in the tool kits you usually buy from like a Craftsman tool kit. It's a 3 16 um, Anyway, the uh, main goal is to get this uh, the nut off of the, the derailleur here. Mine looks like it's got a little bend to it, so we're going to take a look at the frame. I think somebody might have thrown it on the ground or something. Um, you know, the bike itself, and maybe it got pinned against a, a step or something. But we loosen this up, and it'll fall in. There's a groove that it, it pops back. When you pull it back, it'll lock back in place, and then you tighten it. But it's just giving us more slack. We use our 16 millimeter here and ratchet. That's actually a half inch. Another suggestion would be to release your brakes here smash them together re remove your you know brake line it just clips in there it's pretty sweet uh how they do that then come back uh remove this you know kind of loosen it up i want to remove the derailleur all the way unless you're gonna you know kind of tweak some more stuff i might go ahead and remove mine later on but this video is just for removing the rear wheel that's what i'm promising you here so we're going to take a nut off here 16 millimeter might be a 15 who knows, but it's uh, close enough. Um, it's not stripping or anything, and there's my washer, and watch your watch your stuff here. It uh, Sometimes, you know, you can lose some parts. Sometimes after a job's over and you have extra parts, uh, <laughs> that's funny too. But um, <laughs> let's grab this other one here. Uh, just remove it real quick. And uh, the tube that goes on here is all... Um, 26 inch by 195. They're like four bucks on eBay or Amazon is where I like to go because I'm a member. So I could just clip, I mean, just tell them how many I want and, and uh, they send them to me. Then we want to kind of pull this derailleur up a little bit and then we just move the chain, you know, get enough slack involved and then, you know, pull this chain back a little bit. Just get it off the sprocket is the main goal. Um, then you kind of want to just pick up the frame. I'm kind of holding the recorder here and, and trying to do this. Um, Should have grabbed like a tripod or something, but I just thought this would be a quick video and just show you uh, that you can do it in less than five minutes. Pick it up, smack it. Then you want to come down here to the derailleur. After There we go. It's going to pop down here. There we go. About two inches it'll fall. Pull that derailleur back a little bit you know get the chain off of that uh, sprocket and don't toss it like i usually do um just out of frustration sometimes but uh there we go there's our derailleur it's still in place um once we put the wheel back on long story short is like once you pedal off a little bit it'll it'll go back to where it's supposed to go and you can always monitor to see where the if it's on gear number one it's supposed to be on that first tooth there and uh and then you can monitor where the, you know, the chain will automatically readjust itself and then you can kind of track to see where it's at. And uh, I'm thinking about doing a video on, you know, um, putting this all back together. But this is just a quick video on removing the wheel, which I just did. So just keep in mind that anybody can do it, even you. Um, five minutes of your time and uh, that's it. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe.